everybody, Josh from CollectionDX.com here with another review. This time we're looking at another Joe Braver toy by Takara Tomy. This is number 12 in the line, Null. Null is a unmarked police car. Let's check it out. All right, so with this figure you get the small Joe Braver character or... Uh, you have the car, which is a Nissan Fair Lady Z, and you get some accessory parts. And I just wanted to show you there are stickers that you put on, and there are most of them are window stickers, but the window stickers are black, so it's just black on black. So, as an example, this one I put the sticker on. This one um, I screwed up the sticker, but you can't even tell. So I don't understand why you even need stickers for it, but. This is what it is. You also have your choice of eyes for the null Joe Braver robot. I thought this was interesting here. There's one that says error 404. So you could add a lot of personality, but I feel like this guy is a, a dark guy, right? Because he's an, he's an unmarked police car, basically. The little figure is, is fine. Doesn't do a lot. Uh, the arms move on ball joints. There's little ball joints there. You can store the gun on the back if you want. Uh, not as much stickering on, on this as like the other figures had tie stickers and things, but kind kind of fine. The, fi the car is all plastic. It is not the same size as a Tomica car, although this is technically a subline of Tomica. These are a little bigger, but it's a nice car. It rolls along well. It's got the little siren on it, and it's got little tail light stickers, and it's got the Nissan badging on it. You get the little little Z mark there. So nice little, those aren't stickers, those are just come tampo printed on. So it's all licensed and everything. And with these figures, the gimmick is the braver figure gets transformed and becomes part of the larger figure. So to do that, we move the head back and at the same time, move the legs there and then move these down. And these, it's going to become like the torso of the character. And see these little slots there? You sort of line up and you kind of position it to, boom, open up. Now, you notice it just ejected the rest of the car. Those will become the legs. But you can start with this and you're good to go. To do the legs, uh, there are these little pegs here that you just use to kind of pull out the feet. And then separate, and then you basically just slot those in there. Always difficult to do on camera. So here is Null in his basic form. Head does turn a little bit, no waist joint, yeah, but you do have good articulation in the legs. I've heard that these pegs are fragile. I haven't experienced yet, but I guess. I'm always a little cautious, you know, since I, I actually figured that out. I was looking on Yahoo Japan auctions for these and I saw a guy selling a bunch of re uh, replacement hip parts for broken hips. So made me think that perhaps there's an issue, but I haven't experienced it directly. You can hold on to the gun. So that's pretty cool. Good looking figure, not too big. But we are not done with Null because this isn't quite Null. This is, you know, the pre-Null. You get this little mask that doesn't really store anywhere, uh, but attaches there. And you have these wings that attach to the back. So this is basically null. And this head looks really familiar to me. And it reminds me, if you guys remember a movie called Summer Wars, there was a bad guy named Love Machine in that. And this face very much reminds me of, of Love Machine. Uh, wings, these do kind of rotate and move. Uh, and they can be separated because there are other modes of this. So we'll show you that now. So the next mode, we have to remove that. And then we remove the wings from their sort of central connector part, which gets discarded. And then go put these in here, remove the gun, 
And basically now this is version SW for sword. <laughs> okay, all right, I can, I can buy that. Version SW. And this is version FB. I wonder what FB stands for. Flying board. Peg them in. So it doesn't really like stand well, but there you go. There's version FB. But now there's also, but wait, there's more. If you take the connector that you had and you see these little tabs, insert them in here. And they just don't really clip in, they just sort of friction in. And now it's uh, version SH for shield. And you can hold the gun in this mode as well. So yeah, a lot of different uh, mo. I mean, it's they're all just like, hey, how are you going to use this accessories a little differently? There's one other feature we'll show you is that if, like um, a lot of Takara Tomi toy lines, they are compatible with other items in the toy line. In this case, he combines with the Koban for no Koban. All right, so here's the, the Koban uh, figure. First thing we do is take uh, Koban off. So not on anymore. And then we take this guy apart. So he's now the head. And in the back, we take the wings and we basically attach them to the hands to now get null Koban armor. I mean, that, that, looks, that looks pretty great. I think that's a really cool uh, look. I think that looks better than the original. The wings are such a nice addition and they're just sort of attached to the hands in the, in the back of the mode, but you get the idea. It's uh, really cool. So it really levels up this guy having him in there. So yeah, this guy's uh, is fun. This whole line is fun. Uh, with any kind of Takara Tomi Tomica line, there's so much cross play in imagination that I wish that they would bring over to Transformers. The materials are so much better than Transformers. Everything's solid. Nothing's hollow. And it's the prices are comparable. It's just... Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why it's there is such a discrepancy in pricing here. Yeah, so this guy is about 3,300 yen Japanese, uh, which is probably $25 US. The quality is just so much nicer than a comparable transformer of the same price. It may be a little less complicated, but this has a spring loaded gimmick. It's got a licensed car mode. It's got stickers. It's got accessories. Uh, it's just great. Its full name is Police Braver Null Nissan Fairlady Z Patrol Car. So there's a lot going on there. I love this line, and I uh, I think, uh, you know, it's worth checking out. Uh, I, I also don't know if it's a good guy or bad guy. Kind of, you look at this graphic, and he kind of looks like he's he's fighting the Koban armor. So who knows what the story is behind these? I I, I don't know. I don't think that's a, for there's a proper cartoon. I think there's like a web comic or something that is probably aimed for six year olds. This guy's awesome. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. This is Null, and I am Josh. Thank you for watching. See you next time.